Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Nick Charles. And I was thinking, how do you taste a Smeg fridge? And then I realised that, oh, hello, this week I'm joined by a new guest host. Let's welcome Nick Charles. Hello, how is everybody? I'm, I'm all right, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely day. I'm having a lovely cup of coffee. Coffee, apparently. See. Mine's gin. But yeah. <laughs> um, what have you got? I thought you were doing dry January. It's February now. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> 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 Clearly, I'm the one drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but what have you got in store for us this week in the showbiz? So this week, I'm bringing a quick look at things that are basically ancient. Oh. Mm. <laughs> on the screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website and on YouTube or podcast services. Look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out and touched our souls go along the bottom of the screen, we go to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> You were saying before the show that you know that you've got a years of growth on you. I know a whole year. A Would whole you believe that? Twelve months. Of, is Twelve this? months. So have I. <laughs> <laughs> on my back, but still. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a particular regime for your hair? Um, yeah, I do. So I have to use every much. So I try to wet my hair as much as I can. I use like a deep moisturizer, okay. and then like a bit of gel, and then just like put it on the side. But it's awful because like whenever I go to sleep with someone at night time. I have to like put like a shower cap on so I don't get messed up. Okay, so it's cute. I don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I could so wear a beard one. Do you just though. moisturize your head before you go to bed? No, I do it in the morning. Oh, cute. Because there's no point doing it in the evening because it's just going to get moisturized. Yeah, but you never know if a man might cl climb through your, your window at night time. I hope not. Oh. I'll be asleep with the, with the locked windows. I'm not. Somebody's <laughs> lying. <laughs> It's normally that they're escaping, to be fair. <laughs> like, what did I do? Get out. Um, well, this is a story about a mum who's basically done her hair at home. Right, she's done a bit of a bleach job. A bleach job? A bleach job. Um, and then wrapped her hair using an Asda bag. Um, and basically, the bleach has leached the Asda logo into her Love hair. Love that. Do you so, know what we call that? We call that free advertising. <laughs> we, it doesn't even look like that. Because <laughs> it's just the green bits that no, have it gotten looks, in. It literally, I think it literally looks like like someone just spray painted her hair with like... But it's like... And I'm being funny, right? In, in hindsight, why would you use a plastic bag on your head to bleach it? Well, from, from, from memory, when you dye your hair, you're supposed to wrap your hair yeah. when you dye it. Because it yeah. makes it develop quicker. Yeah. So that's what she was doing. Just use cling film like everybody else. I know. I asked her bag. I asked her bag. Well, I mean, it's, it's not even cheap. They're thirty p each. I, I mean, I understand, you know, we're in a recession, but it's not that cost effective. No, it's not because it's thirty p for a, a bag for life now. Look good for her. Thirty p. Yeah. Um, well, Nikki, <laughs> um, who's twenty seven, basically left it for half an hour, and I was shocked to see the pea green font. I mean, was she shocked or she was just? I think she was hoping to become an actual meme. Okay. That's where it was. So she woke up and was like, "I want to become someone special on the internet," and she failed. Because look at it. Well, she she succeeded because we're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> true. This, I this think is true. She's, this is true. She's become viral with her green. Um, so, yeah, she was supposed to be platinum blonde and she was just doing her roots. Wow. Platinum blonde, you know. I don't see it, do you? I, it's very yellow for her. <laughs> <laughs> and for someone doing their roots, she's not a very big, good Given job. Big Buddha run for their money. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yellow. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, so mean, so mean. But true, true. Um, Are you shocked but surprised? No. Oh. <laughs> Not at all. Um, so, moving on from someone who just has no idea how to do their hair properly. Um, this prime pure drink, energy drink thing. Oh, God, I'm over it. You're over it? I'm over it. Have you had any of it? No. I've heard from mm. the grapevine uh -huh. that it tastes like watered-down Lucasade. Okay. So, if that if that's the taste palette, I don't want it. The bottles are cute, though. The bottles the are cute. The colours are cute. Yeah. But, I don't... <laughs> right. There's this, have you seen that person online that was selling the bottles? Mm -hmm. And it was empty. Yes. And that 15-year-old kid and was making money. If, if, there's a, if there's a prize, there's a market, go for it. Do it. And people are buying it. But it's like, mm -hmm. in, my, in my head, I was like, why? And... Isn't it, I think the drink is by 
one of those YouTube stars, right? Yep. And that boxer boy, mm -hmm. the Alan kid. Yeah, that's the one. Um, well, not yeah. I, I was in my local supermarket and went, oh, I'll, I'll see if there's any available. Yeah. You have to ask behind the counter to actually get it. No. Because they don't want people going and just doing a tour. It's run. worse than when they used to lock up Low Park. Remember, the, yeah. remember when we went through that power? It's like, let's lock, up the, let's lock up the margarine. Now we have to talk about Prime. Yeah. Imagine, imagine, I feel like it's like, I feel like now there's an underworld of it. You like have to go to like your local shop and be like, do you have the Prime? Yeah. That's how it is now. It's exactly it's how it is. Smuggling into a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's easy to get drugs. Ah, um, not the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> From what I've heard. <laughs> yes. Um, anyway. From what we've heard. Yes. Um, well, have you heard about Wakey Wines? Oh, not Wakey Wines. Wakey Wines. Oh, God. Who was selling it for, you know, £1,200 a bottle. The worst thing about this is the people that was going from far and wide to buy. You no, know, it feels like you know when the three the, the three wise men travelled to Jerusalem to find <laughs> Jesus. They were doing this. They were like, "Let's go pay all this money." And it's like the guy who the guy who took his two kids over Christmas was like, and. The worst thing is the Wakey Wines guy. He's like chuffed with himself, and he's really? like, "Yeah, tell them where you're going from." It's like, okay, we know, we know where you are. It's Wakey Wines. You say it every single time, but his TikTok has been shut down. It has, yeah. Um, and a gentleman has gone over to his, his, his actual shop in Wakey Wines and and gone to confront him about his prices. Oh my God! So Wakey Wines. I mean, if it, I mean, if it, if you throw an in there, you get Wanky Wines. So it could work. <laughs> Mohammed Nazir's Wanky Wines. Wanky Wines. Um, so, Ad's shovel on TikTok mm -hmm. basically drove to Wakey Wines, right? Mm -hmm. And had a go at the guy. Um, so, Mr. Nazir, who runs Wakey Wines, basically had a very unhappy gentleman shouting in his face, mm. shouting abuse, saying, Stop being such a cockwomble. But at the same time, if you have the stock, sell it at a distortionate price. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's supply and demand. If. It's not available anyway. And the people, the, at the end of the day, right? If I am selling a product, mm -hmm. it's up to you, the customer, to buy it. And if people are buying it, that's their business. So exactly. if there's a way, there's a way. Exactly. I'm thinking of just sp spending some money on making some sugar bottles, sugar water <laughs> bottles, and just selling that as, as subprime or something. Did you see the video of the people, the kids going wild in the aisles at Aldi? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like, yeah. what's the need for it? Like, I don't get it. I don't. I don't. It's a hype. It's, I don't get it. But it's like it's like Teletubbies back in the day. <laughs> I probably need a better reference than Teletubbies, don't I? <laughs> Average age, you know, of human beings not being a thousand. Um, <laughs> you ancient, you don't say. Yeah, all right, calm down. Um, <laughs> but uh, what's about that? But um, if you want to interact with us on social media and send us your wakey wines, it's at the Could TV, and that brings us nicely over to our story of the week. Ooh. Do you get public transport ever? I do. I say trans public transport every. I don't drive. Okay. Do you, ever, you, do, you ever, do you ever see gay boys driving? I don't know. You're a gay man. Oh, I think. Oh, is that a no, compliment? but is that a, is that a compliment or a read? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of them things. Is I mean, it's not very often I see a tombstone driving a car. Uh, it's a smart car. Just really <laughs> <laughs> what about people eating on a bus? Oh, How do you find it? awful. I honestly, it's my pet peeve. Unless, of course, it's me. Because I, <laughs> I love that. Pet peeve, unless it's mine. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was, brilliant. Like, I know for a fact, I, if, you know, like, if, for example, you know, like, when you're getting a train to anywhere, mm -hmm. and you go to the station, there's always, like, a, a Greg's or something. You're like, oh, yeah, I'll grab, like, a, a steak bake. Or a pret de manger. Or some, who has money for pret? <laughs> Obviously, an old, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, can <laughs> someone come and tell me how we, I'm sitting next to a millionaire? Who, who can... A million? No, hold on. Three pounds for a right sandwich. There. Who can afford Pret? It's three pounds for a sandwich. It's two pound ninety five in Greg's. It's only you mean three pounds on, on display? Because you know it's six pound ninety five plus tax because they charge you to sit in. That is the biggest I'm not sitting mumble. in. I'm taking on a train. Are you really? Yeah, I'm not sitting I in a I feel, like it's, train I, station. I feel like I could see you having a cry wonk eating a Pret Magé. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> someone has a friend. Um, stinky food on buses. Oh, right? God. My favourite story ever, I once saw someone eating a lasagna on a bus. Do you know what? And it wasn't a cold lasagna either. Oh, God, no. I have, I have, I wouldn't lie. So I was once on a television show back mm -hmm. in the day, um, and we were on a couch trip, 
and someone was literally eating a, a you know you know those um bin is it a is it a the pinto the pie the one in like the 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 weird like blue tin is it pinto pie no, I don't know what it's called and they like literally was like literally like so in the the open and like had a full on pie on it oh and fried was, bentos pie fried bentos pies and I was like oh. they hadn't even cooked it no because that's raw pastry gross I mean everyone I mean do you know like it raw sometimes. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, I mean, I like the dessert when it's raw, because who doesn't love a cream pie? Mm. Um, but this is a story about a, a lady. Uh, you better who, chew that cud, honey. <laughs> who was um, <laughs> always um, who was basically having a bit of a nibble on a on a bus. A nibble of what? Of a, a raw salmon. Oh God, no. So yeah, she, she's she's tucking into it as well. She's not even just. Mm. You're not eating the skin. I have, I have, I have a lot of questions. Okay. And I don't. Okay. At the same time, I'm gonna tell you why. It's not smoked. No. It's raw salmon. Ugh. But I mean, to be fair, I know some supermarkets sell them like pre-cooked. Probably what? Probably what the pre-cooked ones. Ugh. And if you have a look I at mean, the picture, she's quite clearly tucking into a piece of raw salmon. Oh my god. Like some sort of crazy bear. Um. But that's all from the <laughs> this week. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mike. It's interesting to hear how people are doing with weird fish on their, in their everyday life. Pleasure as always, Nick. <laughs> but next we have him <laughs> and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Nick and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Nick. <laughs> So before I do the show, the showbiz news, it's someone's birthday, from what I've heard. No, it's not. Ooh. It's a lie. <gasps> Is it? It's a lie. Are you sure? It's not, not my birthday at all. Are you sure? Very sure. Mm. I think that's a lie. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's got a reminder on it. Thank you. Very Thank kind. You. Yay. Where's your plate? <laughs> <laughs> 40 years. It's... Yeah. Oh. No, blow your candle. Wish, wish for what you want. Youth. <laughs> youth. <laughs> youth. Do you, do, you know, do, you, do you know what anything else but the youth? I, I want that to say 3 0 on 4. Well, I mean. I've been past some we gifts wish, too. We wish for a lot of things in life, but again. <gasps> oh. Oh. I mean. I mean. Does it not. It works well, right? It, so I'm getting in the gallery that I like chocolate, mm. but they've mis misspelt it. I mean, did they misspell it or did they just spell it correctly? They spelled it correctly, to be fair. <laughs> that's lovely. Thank you. Oh, we love presents. Yeah, and I've got a card as well. That's oh, gorgeous. yay! See you next Tuesday. Love that. Love that. What are you doing next Tuesday? Am I seeing you? <laughs> I'm just, just hiding, really. Oh, oh, that's cute. Oh. Okay. Read the card. Read the card. I can't read this out on public. Oh, God. All right. Um, so it says, Happy birthday, Mike B. Bottom. Have lots of c you s. Oh, wow. From the gallery. Oh, I mean, it's, it's very sweet. It's from the heart. It, it's it's obviously meant. Um, and ooh, now this is more exciting. This is a jewelry ooh. box. I know these. <gasps> oh, how lovely! Oh, a little bangle. Oh, how sweet. And it's actually a metal rather than it's being plastic. It's just going around my wrist. Oh. Apparently, it's a cock ring. Oh no. Okay, well it's around my wrist now. But yeah, never mind. I mean, um, look at all your presents. You should yes, feel so glad. I feel very happy. Yay. Oh, we love a, that. That's a button too, so I'll put the. Oh, yay. It's there like, you go. know, when you go to like the fair and have like yes. a winning pig? You have a little button. It's cute. You just call me a winning <laughs> pig. <laughs> I didn't know the thing. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, so we, we got some showbiz actual pe actual things here now, please. Let's stop reminding people that I'm old. Oh my yeah. god. Right, so I am very excited. Are you a fan of sex education? 
the subject at school where you put a condom on a banana or the TV show? The TV show. I mean, yes, I, am. I mean, it's, the show is based on sex education. But yeah. I have to say, though, I think the one thing I love about sex education, not only is it coming back for season four, but mm. Gillian Anderson. Does she, is she not, like, She's I not remember aged. watching X-Files <laughs> back in the day. and You're not old enough to watch the X-Files. Yes, of course I am. <laughs> it's the moisturizer I use every day. Okay. You know if you, you know if you know a virgin, a blood mm. of a virgin could give you rejuvenated skin. Oh. But you wouldn't know about that, would you? Virgin Manchester <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> so yeah, sex education is what is literally on its way back to our screens very, very soon. And I'm Lovely. very excited. Look at those babies. Look at it actually grown. Do you know what? I am literally so proud of that show. It's come so far, mm -hmm. especially um I can never say his name right, which is awful. So Doctor I'm not even Who. going to try. The new Doctor Who. <laughs> the new Doctor Who. So okay. without embarrassing myself on national television, uh -huh. um, I am very excited to see his character. But I feel like I watch those characters develop and stuff, and I feel like I've been on a journey with them. So well, now for season invested. four on its way, it's like, thing. and I think it might be the last one. <gasps> it might. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But I think that, I think that I think they've got to the part where it's like you can't really. Can't go much you don't want to go too far because then it'll kind of lose the plot. It's like Glee. It's like when Glee just went off the rails. I was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> it kept going, kept yeah, going. Yeah, like, going. right, like... stop it now. We can only see Sue Sylvester so many times on television. No, I see, I, I disagree with you there. I love Sue. I love Sue. Yeah, I love Sue. But yes, um, that's, that's exciting. That's exciting. Look at them. Oh. Yeah, but um, from what I understand, those two aren't coming back. Money. Yeah. Money. Probably. Uh, I mean, it's quite sad, though. Mm. It's quite sad because I feel like. I feel like when you when you when you lose the characters and stuff, mm -hmm. it, it, it kind of like takes away. But I'm pretty sure they have like new characters, kind of builds the development. Yeah, yeah, so that'd be that'd good. Be so I should be coming back. I think later this year. So that'd be mm. fine. Exciting, exciting, exciting. February 2023. So this which month. is this month. Yeah. Oh my god, we're old. What turns forty this year? Tell me. Uh, lots of things. All right, we get it. I'm <laughs> Staring into my soul, going, are you 40, mate? Yes, I'm 40. Listen, All right. listen, mate, there's nothing wrong with it. L listen, there's a lot of people that a lot of people that turn 40 this year, like Kate Bosworth. Okay. They're 40, and look at that. Their vision of, you know, hope. Who else okay. turns 40 this year? Let's have a look. Let's have a think. <laughs> Nick's having a moment. <laughs> I just realised who turned 40 this year. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh, my God. What, what, what's the moment for? Who's turning but, 40 this year? Now, Henry Carvel... Yes. ...is turning 40 this year. Uh-huh. Do you know the amount of things I have dreamt in the past 10 years about that man? Mm-hmm. All the way back to when he was in Henry VIII. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, he wasn't... In the Tudors. Oh, yeah, he was in the Tudors. Uh -huh. I've got the polish of his cut piece. Yeah, but to be fair, do you not think Jonathan Mears was the other guy was... Do him as well. There was a lot, a lot. Culpepper would have got it. But it's quite sad because that. I feel like I could never watch those shows now and think, oh, my God, I just want to touch myself appropriately when I see it on screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, the future ex-husband, Mr. Hemsworth. The future ex-husband? Yeah, yeah, I won't keep him. Why? Because uh, they'll uh, get bored of him eventually. I mean, I'd rather him than the brother that Miley's, I, Mi Miley dragged. I would have a go on all the Hemsworths. Really? Yeah. No. It's a weekend. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a massive Marvel fan though, so I think That's okay. I think Chris has to be the one. But I'm not I'm not thinking of him as Thor. I'm thinking him naked. I'm not. You're not telling you're telling me that you would want a man in uniform to throw his hammer in your face. I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm saying that I'm not that fussy. But he has to be dressed as Thor. <laughs> I mean, I mean, at forty, take where you can get right. He's forty two. <laughs> He's forty as that's well. What I said. So forty and forty make eighty. So that's great. Just dust. <laughs> and Mila Kunis as well. <laughs> Mila Kunis. I remember seeing Mila Kunis. Was it, I was at um, that, that 40, 70, the 70 that show. show. Yeah, yes. Aspen Kutcher back in the day. She looks, I think she's with Justin Timberlake. Is she? Is she? I'm not I sure. I don't no, know. No, that's Jessica Alba. I think she was, who is she with though? Mila I don't Kunis. know. She, I think someone. I do love the fact that she is the voice of Megan Family Guy. She is, that yes. is insanely funny. It's because I feel like when time. you see Mila Kunis, she, she's beautiful, and, and Megan's not. And then Meg is just 
trash. So it's like, it's great. It's great. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 I can't really just, look at all these people turning 40 this year. You, yeah. You're part of an elite club. Exactly. I'm so proud of you. Oh, oh my God. Some more fitters. Is that that guy from Star Trek? Star Wars. Star Wars. Yes. yes. Okay, we need to get this person off the <laughs> set. <laughs> I've broken the rules. Why? <laughs> Listen, you I... never confuse Doctor Who, Star Wars, and Star Trek. Listen, not allowed. they're all based in space. Space is a very big place, so it's very hard. It's... One is in a galaxy far, far away. Right, but right. one is in he this galaxy here. But Star Trek, right? So what? Uh -huh. Look, this, this, this is my fight. Star Trek. Yep. Is T R E K, right? Mm -hmm. Star Wars is W A R S. They're both four letters at the end. Okay, so. so it's... Mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Sarah. I didn't come out to be abused. <laughs> That's um, an added bonus. Um, <laughs> Lupita, absolutely stunning. And then you have yeah. Dan. Is it Dan? Is it Dan name? Levy. Dan Levy. Yes. Yeah, Shit's creak. Shit's creak. Be uh, honestly, he's my spirit animal, David. I'm actually David Rose. That's a great character. I'm actually six years away from joining this um, this elite club. Well, not this elite club because this is our this is our forties. Oh, so you're not right. you're not in this elite club. This all right. Yeah. So now he's proud to be forties, ladies and gentlemen, days and damn, you see what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the forty year olds that Mike would have to shag. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Not but terrible at all. No. Um, well, thanks for that, Nick. Always <laughs> nice to know that my age, you know, in the greatness, the company that I am in. Um, but stick around, because coming up next, we have our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing a Cud, and this week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. And this is for our very own Nick. So, off your scoot. If I want, if I want. I'm ahead. Game of the Week. So all Nick's going to do is going to spin Lazy Susan, Ooh. find a question, and then try and get me to answer it, because <laughs> that never goes well. Are you ready, Nick? Yeah, I think so. OK, give it a spin. Ooh. 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 Uh, is it soundtracks? Uh, if you're going to go for soundtracks, soundtracks okay. it is. So... I've got backing music as well today. Ooh, nice to ask you the question. Uh-huh. Which number one track is featured in the 2013 movie Despicable Me 2? Oh, it's that, that annoying one. Oh. Mariah Carey, Christmas comes once a year? No, it's that other one. It's the, the one that irritates the hell out of me, but you shouldn't do. It's a cover. I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Oh my God. You know what? What? So close, yes, so far. All right. It's Happy by Pharrell Williams. Yay! Oh, that one. That one, yeah, yeah. I love the fact that you tried to sing that, but the key was literally in the Titanic. Lost. But thanks for trying. Loving that spinning. Soundtracks again! Oh. What is this? Fixed. Da -da -da. Ooh, a dirty, nasty question. Oof. Yay! <laughs> In a risky business, what sound does Tom Cruise... Oh, Tom Cruise. Mm. Anyway, Tom <laughs> Cruise's character dance into in his socks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tom Cruise? Yeah, Tom Cruise. Do you never want to go cruising with Tom Cruise? Like, cruising with Jane McDonnell? No, cruising with Jane McDonnell, I'm there for. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't go cruising for Tom Cruise? No. no. You need to get your head checked. Anyway. Yeah. Um, risky business, that came out in 1983. Just saying, it's 40 years old, that movie. Um, he I slid mean, into the living room on some lube. No, but what song was he singing with the lube on the floor then? Um, that um, one one. You make me... Last Christmas? Before oh, you go. Oh, go. That one. one. That one. I don't know. Uh, it was Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Sega. Ah. Uh, Bob Sega. 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 Sega, Sega. Ah. If you want to be my love. <laughs> say that Spice Girl. You got to get my... <laughs> C clearly one of a... You know what, Lazy Susan, look at her. She loves her, doesn't she? Right, let's go again. Ta-da! Ooh. I, I think that's rock and pop. Oh, let's go with rock and pop then. Right. Oh my god. 
if you know this one. Chester Bennington was the lead singer of which rock band? Chester Bennington? Yes. You, you, want, a, you want a clue? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, um, it starts with one, that one. Linkin Park. Yeah, oh! You were nothing, but well done. <laughs> hey, you did... What, don't, don't be giving me that face. You, you could take Lazy, Su Lazy Susan and I'll have a lovely time with her. She loves being funny by don't already. Ooh, 90s! I remember this decade. Really? All of it. I, I didn't think so. All Oof. of it. Oh, a gay man. Shock horror. Oh. There's three gay men in this room. One is on this card. Oh, okay. Who are the hits in 1999 with Living La Vida Loca? Ricky Martin. No, it wasn't. It was Gloria Estefan. <laughs> I'm sorry. 16-year-old Mike <clears throat> knows what he was to, and it was Ricky Martin living La Vida Loca. You was touching yourself in all the weird places for a bit of living La Vida Loca. He wasn't even gay yet. I he was still hot. There with his chest out and someone dripping wax on his chest and going, ow, that's hot. I'm like, yeah, of course it's hot. I don't know where you've been watching your porn, but you need to close that window and go back and go touch some grass. Why? I've never seen Ricky Martin with like candle wax in him. Is that your vivid dreaming? Because no, I've no, never that's seen in, that. That's in the music video to Live in La Vida Loca. Really? Um, on the part where her lips are devil's red and you see it pour the thing and then he goes, ah, as oh. just as the guitar, den, den, den bit. Oh God. I mean, to that, be fair, to be that, fair. That music video, as well as LL Cool J's um, Phenomenon video, in my head all the time. You know there's a website you could look for new pornography, because if you're having those in your head for your nighttime that, dreaming. Since I was 16, they're living there rent free. Susan, let me spin you. <laughs> 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 Ooh, 90s again. Love this. I'll, I'll give a Jenny big Kiddo. spin. Ooh. Which band had three consecutive UK Christmas number ones in 1996, 97, and 98? Only one I can think of is E17. E17? Yeah. Baby, do you have to go away? Don't think I can take the pain. Because they then did one with Gabrielle. And if you ever fall in love again. That one, yeah. That's the only 90s thing I can do. Um, Two consecutive. I can't think of a third. I mean, I love, your, I love your commitment, but it actually was the Spice Girls. Oh, okay. But thanks for trying. You win absolutely nothing. Well, that's because I didn't get it right. Oh my god. Which three did they get? Huh? Consecutive Christmas tumble? Um, I think they, uh, I don't, I don't know, but I think one of them must be um, to become one. Has oh to yeah, because be. they're wearing big coats. Because they were in that coat walking through big New York or coat. LA. Yeah, yeah. yeah, on the bridge. Big coat out, yeah. Come on, Susan. Give me some. Give me, give me, give me. Ooh, rock and pop. Yes, rock well, and I, pop. I did well on this one last time, so. Oh my god, one of, one of, one of my favorite bands. Okay. Which rock band had a 2001 hit with How You Remind Me? How You Remind Me? Yeah. Can you, you remind me? Do a bit of the song. Never made it as a wise man. Never made it as a poor man stealing. Tired living as a blind man. This oh, is how that. you remind me of what I really am. Yeah. Hang on a sec, you say it was your favourite band? Yes. Is it Nickelback? It is Nickelback. Nickelback is nobody's favourite band. Yeah, but Nick and Nickelback works quite well. That's why I love the band. All right, okay, that was just, just because of the name. Were you abusing me on live national television like that? Of course, if you're seeing this, you know where Mike, you know where Mike Rowe is. Sue her. <laughs> 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 Susan, give me something to sing. <gasps> No, we're just going to hum the song this time. Okay. <laughs> you, Susan. <gasps> ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. Very pitchy, this song. <laughs> it starts off very high pitch. 
Oh, 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 I could do by Black Lace. What? I could do by Black Lace. I could do, do, do. Push pineapple, push it. That one. No, Mike, no. No. That was absolutely great of my humming, and you decided to play me for a fool? That was Shakira, hips don't lie. You absolute b So you chose to, you really chose I to not know that song? I woke up this morning and chose chaos, to be fair. You chose to not know that song? <laughs> what, the great Shakira, Shakira, with lips, with hips, hips, is it breasts like <laughs> so mountains? So good, I can't remember the name of the song. She said she has, <laughs> she has breasts like mountains. So, no. They're, they're small and humble, so you don't confuse them like that. Well, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 90s again. Oh, God. You're not going to get this, and I'm going to be so glad. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Which band had a hit in 1997 with Semi Charmed Life? Blur, wasn't it? Who? Blur. Nope. Oasis. I, nope. I'll give you one more, one more guess. The Verve. No, it was Third Eye Blind. Oh, okay. It's actually one of my favorite songs. Fun fact. What, what song is it? Semi, semi, semi Charmed Kind of Life. It goes, I want something else to get me through this. Semi Charmed Kind of Life. Oh, yeah, no, no. Baby, yeah. baby. I, you see? You're getting, you're getting me to sing for free. Yeah. That should never happen because I didn't even do karaoke. I'm absolutely <laughs> awful. I love karaoke. Oh, I need to hum a song again. Oh. Let's pretend. Right. <laughs> oh. Jerry Halliwell, mm -mm. my Dolce Vita. Where's, mm -mm. get on fire exit though, I'm out of here. <laughs> How are you getting this wrong? This is so, you're awful and terrible at this. It's the Spice Girls. It's Spice Girls. It was a Spice Jerry Halliwell was a Spice Girl. I wasn't that And far. she left. Yeah, and then, and then five became four. <laughs> she's, also a fan of, she's also a fan of someone that I don't want to talk about on the show because we don't support those people around here. Well, enough of that, because stick around, because coming up next, we have Nick in Spotlight. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to get all up in his beeswax as we say hello there, sweetheart, to Nick in Spotlight. So we are here with, with Nick, who's managed to survive pretty much all of the show. So congratulations I on know. that so far. Yeah, well, give, me a world, give me a medal next time. Yeah, we can, yay, you can have a fair bit. It, it no. will mean you're 40. Um, <laughs> we don't we need that, do we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying word. Um, so, uh, people that don't know who you are, what do you do? Give us, give us Nick in, I don't know, 10 words. Um, oh my God, in 10 words. Hmm. I'll give you a few sentences. Um, okay. <laughs> I am so a DJ and presenter slash um, um, f body activist, to be fair. Um, I've, I've been like... So I've been in the UK like just over 13 years because I moved from Lady Caribbean, which was, which is insane because I hate the cold. Okay. Yet I am living in a <laughs> cold country. I you don't, chose, I, you I chose never get, You know what? I, right, before moving to the UK, I had this idea that it was just full of beautiful men and it was going to be lovely. And I was like, I've been watching the wrong, the wrong pornography for a long time. I was sold. Miss sold like PPI. Yeah, it was sold. sold. It was sold. Yeah. <laughs> Penis protection. Good, clearly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I've been, I've been, I'm um, already presented for the past. Um, well, it's fun fact. When I was um, five, I used to be a dancer, and um, I used to really love to be. I used to like use my. There's a photo of me my mom has with me holding a roll-on bottle, talking into like a mic, having my own show, and I always wanted to be on radio. And um, I got into it, and the reason why as well I, w I got into radio is because I never really saw much black gay presenters on radio, and I was like, this is really, this is, this is not good enough. So I wanted to not only change that, but I wanted to let other, like, LGBTQ plus POC people know that, hey, um, you know, there's people like you and me out there on radio, and that's what I want to do. And it's, it's, it's had, like, a positive impact, because... A lot of people I know have now 
um, started working in radio because I they were influenced by me, which is nice. Lovely. Um, so that was my mis- my end game. And apart from that, I'm just like um, I'm always like challenging people about things that need to change, like fighting for trans rights, fi- fighting for all kind of rights. Just people, because I feel like mm-hmm. life is so um, miserable sometimes that people need someone to be fighting in their corner. So. And as well as doing that, I, I DJ some here and there, which is fun. Um, because I always wanted to be a DJ for a long time. Because I have, I have this taste in music. I just it's crazy. Because like, I grew up in a house where Motown and disco was like mm. the thing. So um, I always had that sense of music and having direction. And now that I now that I DJ, it's the best thing. I feel like I found my calling. I mean, I tried porn once, but that didn't work. So I must be DJ. Must be the way forward. <laughs> Is I that... didn't try porn. Get your heads on the gutter, you listening. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, stop. Well, <laughs> we've seen. He's going to Google it. Fans. We've seen it all already. <laughs> um, our research has showed us it's Only If you get people hitting your, your DMs now, they would. They'd be like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Let me I see. mean, to be fair, the other day I posted. So, right. Fun fact mm-hmm. there is a book out there in the world. Um, on uh, online that you could find where you could make cuisines out of do the math come yeah no there's okay. a, a cookbook not n- not by Nelja Lawson no not by I probably is by Nelja Lawson to I be mean, fair I mean <laughs> in the microwave <laughs> yeah what's the point come in a microwave <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there's, a, there's a choice that was made there. Is there is a choice. Um, <laughs> but yes, there is yeah. a book um, called um, Come Cuisine. And I was like talking about it the other day on, on like a, a podcast. And someone literally messaged me. I was like, so um, do you want some come to cook with? And I'm like, absolutely f***ing <laughs> not. Did you get some pictures first? I got sent videos okay. of a container oh, okay. of the actual come. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Thanks, but no thanks. I mean, if, if someone sends videos to me, of them producing that, was, well, I'm welcome in the DMs. Off you go. <laughs> Mike, you have no... No, I don't. No I don't. shame. I no shame, no where, standards. Wh- where, where, where do you... I mean, where, where, I mean let's put, let's put the spotlight on you for a second. Where does the light cross with you? Do tell. Do you cross it, or do you... No, don't know what you mean. <laughs> I am not getting involved. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so on the radio. Yes. yes. So um, you're on Gadio, aren't you? Yes, I do. So I do Gadio Brighton on a Tuesday at 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. Very early morning. Um, so you're lucky you got me here. Yeah, I was going to say. Because I'm, I'm just you should like, be in bed by now. Yeah, so I do the, I do the 4 a.m. breakfast, early breakfast before Gadio breakfast. Um, mm-hmm. And then I do weekends on a Sunday from 1 till 4, which is interesting because... Um, a lot of people tune in during that time, and I always like I'm always watching like the social media. People like always ask me for like the weirdest songs on a Sunday. It's like, do you want to hear the Macarena on radio at two o'clock in the afternoon? Nah, probably not. It's a cleaning song. Yeah, it is. That it is definitely but, people doing the Sunday. Yeah, clean. And I was like, what is this? And uh, <laughs> it's it's nice, and I feel like it's nice to feel connected in a way because I feel like our community can feel so so guarded sometimes. So I feel like being on the radio and like and like. I love talking between songs, and I feel like people... I'm still there, so people clearly must want, to want me there and want me to talk about stuff, but it's always nice where radio is like... For me, I see it as a best friend, because you just don't know who's listening. And I feel like whenever I speak to... Because like, you're talking into a mic, you don't know who's listening. Yep. And you're in like a room, a tiny studio. Little, tiny little box. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. who is listening to this? And then, then when, when you hear people's feedback, I feel like, oh, this is good. But sometimes I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I literally it. will wake up one morning and be like, what am I going to talk about? And my producer will be like, nice, <laughs> hurry up. Say some words. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, but it's really fun. I think I think there's a joy in doing it as well because um, there's nothing better than be, than being your through authentic self mm-hmm. and doing something so fun. And there is no there is no bots about it. There's It's, it's very re- rewarding, mm-hmm. but it could also be very much like, it destroys your social life a little bit. Let me tell you why. So I was a... working at four <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I was on a date just recently, mm-hmm. and I didn't know what to talk to this boy about. And I was like, I talk on radio every day. How do I not know what to talk? But it's because I've 
overstalked. You spent. And the guy was like, oh my God, you're really quiet. And I was like, no, I'm not. I just have nothing to say. But I mean, after a few red wines, a handbag <laughs> comes out of my mouth. You're like, hey, girl. <laughs> hey, ma'am. And he was like, oh, wow, you're really femme. Yes. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so my 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 mission in in the next couple of months is to open this charity, have a few DJ gigs and events where the money made will like go to like um, kids charity and stuff where they could get instrument DJ and stuff because I feel like no, the kids nowadays when we were growing up we were so used to you know being outside and mm -hmm. like making friends and now all the kids now just know about TikTok and stuff and it's like. Mm -hmm. That social media world has like swamped you, and I just want to be able to kind of. And it's, it's don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not expecting to change the narrative, but it would be nice to have an impact, have an impact in a small way or none. You don't know what it could do, and I feel like having a space where kids and um, stuff could come and you know learn to do that stuff. I mean, I wouldn't be the one teaching it. Of course, I get like professional people who are DBS checked and stuff like that to make sure safeguard and all that is in place. But it'll be a great thing. That's my that's my my next 12 months ahead, so. Nice. I know. Oh no, it could be pretty and smart at the same time. <laughs> I did. Ah! <laughs> <Not> this. <laughs> so if, if there's anybody out there watching that thought, thinks, yeah, I'd love to help Nick with that journey and yeah. on that, how would people get in contact with you? Um, you can find me on my social media. It's, it's literally, it's Nick Charles on every social media going because brand new name, you know it's hard? When I was, when I was becoming a DJ, mm -hmm. it was very easy for me to like, to think because, my whole name is a bit posh, I know, interesting. So it's actually like Nicholas Christian Charles. Mm. And I was like, yeah, it's cute. But then when I was choosing an, an, a radio DJ name, Nick Charles was just perfect because it just mm -hmm. works. And, and like now, like someone was like, oh, I really love your name. Like, where you get it from? I was like, that's my, my name. actual name. So it works. So um, yeah, so you can find me on, on social media. And, and I think I'm going to have my charity page opening in the next couple of weeks when I have the T's and C's done and stuff. So yeah, nice. it'll be fun. That's brilliant. Lovely. Yeah. And then your DJing gigs. Ooh. Have you got any coming up that people I, might be able to pop along to? Yes. So I'm going to, if you're in Amsterdam, I'm playing at Café de Kram. And um, it's literally in just outside the city centre in Amsterdam. And then um, you'll see me at um, a Pride in the 0161. You can figure that out. Um, <laughs> I'll also be at Birmingham Pride, which is going to be really fun. It's in May this year because it's been, it's in, it's been in September, in the cold part of the year mm -hmm. for the past couple of years and stuff um, because of like COVID and whatnot. Um, so that'll be fun. And then I think that's it. To be fair, okay, lovely. Yeah, it'd be funny. It'd be great. Good. Well, it's been absolutely lovely to have you on. Thank you. I might even ask you to come back another time. Oh my god! Because we've not punished you enough. Oh. Um, but that's have I not suffered enough? <laughs> no, nobody has. Oh. Um, but that's almost <laughs> the end of this show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, Paris has been in contact. Yes, they just said how, how this morning goes. Like, oh,